Sneak Linux back today. Today we've got Linux Mint 13 Maya. Maya, Maya. What a good singer she was. And I've gone with the mate desktop environment. Or the, day, the mate, mate, mate. Yeah, the mate, because I wanted a mate to do it for me, as you see. Quick look round for you, and we'll show you some bits and bobs. There are still some problems that I've found while using it, although if they can find them out, I will put them on the Sneaky Wife's computer, okay? Or the actual distro 13 instead of 12. Don't have to really, I'll see how we go. So I've had time and date, my ethernet connection, my volume, and over here we have your system is up to date, because I've installed it of course, okay? So up here, up here you get computer and sneaky zone, which is me, and so we're going to go to the menu, lovely. So as you can see, nicely laid out, looks cool, can read everything nice and clearly, we get computer, home folder, network, desktop, rubbish bin, I love it when they spell it correctly. Software Manager, Package Manager, Control Center, Terminal, Lock Screen, Log Out and Quit. I'll quickly show you the Control Center from here before we go any further. As you can see, nice, clear, laid out, does what it says on the tin, even though there are some repetitions here in the menu itself. But from here you can get your additional drivers, go to your file management, screen saver, etc, etc. If I go down to the bottom, you can do your network connections down there as well. Users and groups to add users to your places and where you want to go and all the other programs you might want to use here. So that's, that's nice out of the way. Okay, back to the menu again, and I'm going to change this back to the favorites because this is how you would see it normally when you first boot up. So under favorites, we get the fox, we get the bird, we get the other bird, and we get a banshee as well. Now, banshee I wouldn't actually put in personally, but you can put your own music player in if you so wish to do so. So that's all right. Linux Mint 13, I think, is for new, new users because it's really, really familiar, I think. So it would be easy for anybody to use it. But say somebody, say for instance, wanted desktop shortcuts, say for their Firefox, so I'm going to browse the web with it. All you do, hold down your left mouse button, drag it over, and there we've got a shortcut just up there. You can position it anywhere you want to, really, so about there will do it. There you go. And you can get to the web browser from here. So I will open up the Fox while we're here, just to show you what it's all about. Okay, f one. there we are. As you can see, released last Wednesday. I've just had too much to do to do it any quicker. I've been doing other stuff, so lovely jubbly. But yeah. You can get it from here, you can get it from uh, Distro Watch if you so wish to do so, but hey, get it any way you want to. So far, so good. It has worked okay for me, although I will show you some of the problems I found earlier, or in the last Distro as well, to be honest with you. Anyway, as I said, that's what you get for your favourites. You get a calculator and you get Pluma as well, which is their own mate text editor. Very plain and simple, does what it says on the tin, which is what we want really, isn't it? Okay, what else we got in there? We've got our sound, terminal change your resolution for your monitors and your system monitor. I'm going to open it up for you so you can see what we're doing. CPU is basically doing anything. It's only using 182 megabytes of my RAM and none of my swap, which I like you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, that's out of the way. Next, if we go to the menu again, we're going to change to all applications, okay? Now, under all applications, you can get all or accessories. So under accessories, you get archive manager, as you would do. Pluma is in there. Tomboy notes is in there, so if you want to do some notes, they're in there for you. Under graphics, you get Eye of Mate, which is just an image viewer. You can get another one if you want to, it's up to you. Gimpy comes as standard, so does G Thumb for doing your thumb sucking things. You also get the free LibreOffice suite, it's all there under Office, although Draw is in graphics. Under Internet, I've gone through most of it already with you in the, in the favourites, so that's okay. But you also get Transmission and XChat for your IRC client. Under Office is all LibreOffice, so super duper, mini Cuba. Sound and video, Benji. Yeah. Brazero for burning your discs, a GNOME M player, a movie player, OpenShot, which I installed, and VLC, a media player. I'll open OpenShot up for you just to see how it works. And this is where I got one of the problems before. Not actually OpenShot itself, it's actually under the software manager. And I'll show you. So as you can see, you just put everything in your timelines, bish bosh, away you go. What version is it? Let's have a look about. 1.4.0, even better. You can get the PPA for it if you want to, so don't worry about it, that's out of the way. Okay, back to our menu again. Under system tools, get a system monitor, as you've already seen. GW package installer, a disk usage analyzer, and a configuration editor. Administration, as you've seen before in the control center, it's all there, some, really. So it could do a bit more work, but most people will be able to use this really easily, I think. We get your Windows wireless drivers in here as well, time and date system information, yeah, 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 yeah. Under preferences, like you've seen all this before in the control center, but I'm just going to quickly go through it with you so you can see, look, it's all there, all there, all there. 
All oh, right, you're welcome, Scrim. Now, when you first boot into Linux Mint, this is what you'll get. I'll just open that for you so you can have a quick look. And from here, all the documentation is here for new features, known problems, and a PDF user guide. There's tutorials, a forums, and chat rooms, sponsors, donations to get involved, idea pool, software reviews, and hardware database. If I go to the sponsors, and you'll see what I mean. If you want to sponsor Linux Mint so they can keep on doing it without having to get real jobs, you know what I mean? Well, that could be a real job, couldn't it? It worked very well for you. When it eventually comes up, that is. It's not normally this slow, okay? So should we give that one that one? Mm. Oh, while we're here, we go up here to our search bar. There is no longer Google here. Apparently there's been a deal done with Yahoo or DuckDuckGo. I can't actually remember correctly what it, one it is, but there is one, okay? okay I'll just click here, we'll go somewhere else, make sure it works. That's better. There we go, there's the page again. You can also get to everything from here if you want to do so. so that's all right. Yeah, well, I like it anyway. Okay, so that's the Mint Welcome page. Right, if I open menu up one more time and we go to our software manager, this is where you a graphical user interface where you can get all your software if you want to get it. Okay, so wait a bit, wait a bit, we wait a bit. There we go. Now, this is the problem I had. If I go to sound and video, we had this in 12 as well, and 11, this problem. When I installed OpenShot, I'll just double click it for you and see what I mean. That's how you install stuff, by the way. So end the video, OpenShot, let's make it nice and big, see what I mean. But it says installed. When it's installing, it doesn't say it's installed, okay? Which is the main gripe I have. You don't know if it's installed or not. Although this bar down here does stop moving and nothing has, happens in the system monitor. That's my only main big gripe about it, okay? One of my only main big gripes. If you're happy, happy with Linux Mint 12, stay with it. Or if you want a few more new features, go with 13. Nice, I like it. 88 out of 100. Sneaky Linux going out. I said it was by the way.